Hi there, the name's Big Joe. I'm the manager of Nancy and the Meerkats, one of the coolest dog and meerkat combos currently around. In fact, they're now international superstars, and that means they have a lot of super fans. And one of those super fans, a sheep called Ed Shearling, has just won a competition to watch the girls record tracks for their new album. Come on, let's find out more. Bonjour, this is our new track. Un, deux, trois, quatre. That was brilliant. Wow, I can't believe I'm really here watching Nancy and the Meerkats. I'm your biggest fan. Yes, it must be quite an honour to be in our presence. Isn't that right, Big Joe? Calm down, Nance, else you won't be able to get your head to fit through the studio door. I'd love to be in a band. Music is my favourite thing of all. Me and my friends are always coming up with new tunes. Not as good as yours, though, Nancy. Well, no one is as good as we are. But if you love music and playing instruments and singing, why don't you set up your own band? What? Me? I can't set up a band. I'm not a pop star. Not yet, but you could be. Look, check out my musical box. It contains tons of useful stuff about how to set up a band. Wow, thanks, Nancy. Well, um, where do I start? Well, why not start with a name? Oh, that's easy. I've got a name. Ed Shearling. I know, but I think there's another singer whose name is a bit similar to that. But couldn't that kind of help me out? People might buy my record thinking it's his. Uh Uh-uh. You're not allowed to use someone else's name like that. Or a name that might make people think you're someone else. It's all to do with intellectual property. Big Joe told us all about it. I certainly did. I told them that they needed to come up with a name that no one else is using. Come on, Ed. There must be tons of names you could choose instead. Let's check out the internet. The internet? Cool. Um, are we going to play some games or watch some videos? (laughs) No, Ed. We're going to search for inspiration for a different name you could use for your band. It's worth having a poke around online to see if there are any other bands already using the name you'll have in mind. So, what's the name you have in mind? Well, my mates are ducks, so we were thinking... Quackalack? Oh, that's a great name! Well, looks like there's a band called Packamack. Here's another, Shackalack. Oh, and there's one called Tackaquack. That's sort of similar. Hmm. Let's dig a bit deeper. What do they play? Well... Although the name sounds a little similar, I bet the type of music they play is very different to what you have in mind. Certainly is. Ed, the question you need to ask yourself is, would anyone get Quackalack mixed up with one of these other bands? No chance. Our music is way better. Great. Well, it looks like you've hit on a unique name. Now we need to register it as a trademark. That way, no one else can steal it or pretend to be you. Yes, like that poisonous pussycat Kitty Perry. She's always trying to steal our stuff. Don't worry though, Ed. We won't let her. Come on, I'll show you where to go online to register your new band name as a trademark. That way, everything's official and your name is protected. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to tell the ducks. They'll go quackers. (coughs) Hey, maybe I could even support you on tour. Maybe. Although, I think you'd better write a few songs first. Unless you want to come along to carry my bags. So, that was it. That's how we helped Ed Shearling get his band name and register it as a trademark so no one else could use it. I bet some of you are budding pop stars. Why don't you have a crack at coming up with a cool band name? Once you've done that, you'll need to check online to see if it's original. That just means that no one else has had the same idea. Nancy's Musical Box, with support from the Intellectual Property Office.